Hello everyone, my name is Ebony Cannonberg and the title of my PIP is The Power of Women's Education. I chose to base my PIP around the importance that a population of educated women holds within a society. I conducted a cross-cultural comparison between New South Wales, Australia and the Middle East and North Africa countries, as seen on the map here with the notepads. This was to be able to examine the educational gender bias within and between these countries. My inspiration for basing my topic of my PIP around this was being involved in the non-for-profit organisation, the Days for Girls program. This aims at shattering menstruation stigmas and advancing inequality, health, dignity and opportunities for all. This opportunity exposed me to some of the many reasons that women around the world are denied access to education and the impact that this has on their lives and in turn society and started my motivation to further understand the reasons for these denials of access to education. Due to the complexity and scale of this topic, I first began with a questionnaire which gathered over 120 responses. The responses from this questionnaire enabled me to gain insight into the issues that individuals in Australia see as a priority issue for education in our country and around the world. This in turn allowed me to narrow my focus from the whole of Australia down to New South Wales and then compare that to MENA countries. I also conducted interviews with teachers involved in the New South Wales Education Department to gain insight into the structures within the education system and how this impacts both boys and girls. Content analysis of documentaries of others' experiences school, in schools in MENA countries allowed me to gain a better understanding of the circumstances that girls around the world are faced in. Article 26 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has a right to an education. And in my research, I also used secondary research, including an extensive range of journal articles to be able to understand the extent to which girls around the world are, meet this basic human right. Did you know that around the world, over 130 million girls are denied access to education? From conducting this research, I found that gen gender inequality does not come from one factor alone. Instead, it occurs as a result of a range of factors, including social norms and expectations, socioeconomic status, level of security in the environment, access to technology, and the family's previous experiences. I was also able to research the improvements that are being made to close the gender gap in, in education. These positive actions include more schools and sanitary facilities being built, and an increase in female teachers. This all helps to foster a stronger standard of education for women and girls around the world. I would like to thank my peers for allowing me to bounce countless ideas off of them to help me continue with my investigation. I'd also like to thank the people who took the time to help me read and sort through my many drafts, including my mum, Miss Gleason, my peers and friends. The most helpful tip that I would be able to give to future society and culture students would be to set yourself your own goals and deadlines throughout the year to make sure that you're keeping on top of it along with Miss Gleason's other deadlines. Also remember that it's okay to feel like you've hit a brick wall. Just make sure you pick yourself back up. The feeling at the end of it is so worth it, I promise.